how to treat jock itch, athlete's foot, and ringworm over the counter. Stay tuned. What's up guys, hope everyone's been doing well. For those of you who don't know, my name is Edgman and I'm a pharmacist. And I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topics. So make sure to subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. These infections are typically caused by fungus and the way you get these fungal infections could have a variety of ways, but the most common theme to consider is that fungus likes to grow in areas that have high uh, moisture as well as high heat. So for example, athlete's foot, which is typically presented as scaly skin in between your toes, is most likely found in athletes or people who play high intensity sports. Why? Because they're typically running a lot and they generate a lot of heat and sweat in their shoes. And then that's a good environment where fungus likes to grow. And jog itch has a similar pathophysiology compared to athlete's foot. Now ringworm is also another fungal infection. Ringworm can be presented almost anywhere in the body, sometimes it's found even on the head, and that's commonly caused by, for example, a barber who doesn't properly sterilize his or her tools, um, can cause ringworm in somebody. Um, so let's say the previous person had dandruff or had an active ringworm infection on their scalp, and it was used on somebody else, that's a way of getting the ringworm. Um, but it also has another different types of pathophysiologies as well. Moving forward, let's talk about treatment. For fungal infections, you can be treated over the counter with topical agents, or you could be seen by a healthcare provider to get a prescription. This is typically reserved for certain types of fungal infections as well as a severe or resistant ones. But in this video, we're going to be talking about over the counter ways of treating your fungal infection. And the way these antifungal medications work is that they basically compromise the structural stability of the fungal cell's membrane, which helps it die over time, which helps you get treated. All right guys, so I pulled out whatever over-the-counter antifungal medication we have in stock at the pharmacy today. So over here on my left, we have Clotrimazole 1%. This is advertised as athlete's foot cream, but it can also be used for jock itch or most other uh, fungal infections. Let's see the active ingredient is Clotrimazole 1%. Now, what you guys will notice with these antifungal over-the-counter agents is that they typically come in different formulations. So over here on the left, we saw that it comes in a cream. But here, this is meconazole. This one comes in a powder formulation. Um, and depending on where the infection is, some people like to use a powder. As well as a powder keeps the area dry versus a cream makes it more uh, moist or wet. And over here, we have another antifungal medication. This one is called terbinafine. The brand name is Lamasol AT. Now, with this one, they work differently in terms of the mechanism of action compared to clotrimazole. But they, at the end of the day, they're both antifungal medications. And I also know they come in other formulations, for example, like a solution or spray. Um, so typically the main goal is to get the antifungal agent on the side of the fungal infection, because um, sometimes the cream might be easier, especially for athletes for the cream is much more easier to put in between the toes. But for example, jockish, they might want to use a powder because it's an easier way of administering or applying the medication. In regards for dosing these medications, you typically want to use them twice daily for about two to four weeks, depending on the type of infection. I know they have instructions on the bag. I think the instructions might differ from what I said. Uh, let's see. Yeah, for athlete's foot and ringworm, use daily for four weeks. For jock itch, use daily for two weeks. Um, using it twice a day is more effective, but the manufacturer says once daily. Um, people have different types of recommendations, but the main goal is to get rid of the infection. And if the infection does not go away within two to four weeks, depending on what you're treating, then I would recommend seeing a healthcare provider to get better assessed. Maybe you need uh, a more stronger antifungal cream or you might need an oral antifungal medication or tablet. And looking at the back of the Lamisole for the directions, Lamisole or Tabinafin here recommends using it twice a day for athlete's foot. When using these antifungal medications, Stinging and burning are common side effects, but typically these medications are very well tolerated, especially since you're using it for a relatively short amount of time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment any feedback or questions you guys have for me. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.